Hello pilots, welcome back to Motion RC, and this is video four. We're gonna install the main landing gear on our ProFly OV-10. Uh, our X-Wave RM490 retracts that we've been recommending for this model and a few of the Black Horse Balsa builds finally are in stock, so you can check those out. These things are a perfect fit for this ProFly OV-10, and they're gonna be great for a lot of uh, big Balsa birds in other uh, models as well, uh, other than the ones that we sell. So everything in front is what we're gonna need to complete this. This video, we're gonna do just the mains, and then the next video, video five, we're gonna do the nose gear. So uh, basically, I have one already done. Since we have twin booms, I got a chance to do one first, and you can see it's on a servo tester, and she works beautifully, looks really good, nice oleo retracts and they're just these are what came with the kit so the struts the tire all the hardware there you're just literally um, loosening up a few grub screws and sliding it into the uh, the retract and you're virtually done so here is what we're gonna do today the other boom just to help you guys out and what you're gonna need is in front of me so obviously you're gonna need your tray this is what you're gonna be gluing after you cut out the Monaco into that's a, the wheel well where the tire is gonna sit and it's gonna give it that nice uh, appearance. It's painted exactly like the Monocoat, which is great. You have your tire, and then the tire in the same bag will have the bolt and a washer. Then you have, again, the strut, which is gonna go into our retract, and then a few of the tools. I'm gonna to use thick CA, and that's just for the, uh, the wheel well when I glue it in. And then, you know, X-Acto knife, screwdriver, uh, just your basic tools to get this done. So let's get started with step one. All right guys, so step one is gonna be cutting out the monocoat, cutting it back for where our wheel well is going to go. So you can see here, it's already sort of indented. I'm gonna make a butterfly cut with an X-Acto blade. You wanna sharp the blade as you can, make this easier. And then once you cut through it, like I did, definitely cut it out all the way around the interior walls. Just remove everything that's uh, not touching wood. Now on to step two is going to be, I wanted to cut back a little bit of the Monaco because you can see there's a lip on the wheel well. So I know that I can glue that down. It's gonna hide any imperfections. The only thing you wanna make sure you do though, when you're doing what, I, what you're seeing now, as I cut around the edge, don't start all the way from the front of the wheel well because the actual plastic insert doesn't go across. You see where they painted it gray? Leave that monocoat on. Uh, I didn't do that so I could just see a little wood. I'm gonna have to go back and paint it later. But no big deal, once you get that on, you wanna take some thick CA, I put it around all the corners, and then I just went around it like I was decorating a cupcake and uh, just slotted it in. And then you wanna hold that in place until it cures. So while that's happening, let's assemble the uh, retract and the strut and the tire. So first things first, you wanna drop the gear. So I plug my retract into a servo tester, and you can see I just dropped it up. And now you see there's two grub screws on the back of the X-Wave retract. Loosen both of those up. Then you're gonna grab your strut that comes with the OV-10 kit and you're gonna slip that in and you can see there's a flat spot for the top grub screw to catch. So then I'm gonna tighten down those grub screws and now there's three grub screws on the strut itself. That's gonna allow you to slide it down more to meet the retract flush because that's where you're gonna want these retracts. Uh, the way these are designed to fit the wheel well, they should be all the way up. So then lock that down. And now moving on to the next step is gonna be your tire. So they give you three of these bolts with a washer and obviously the tire. So you're just gonna slide this through, tighten it up. On the back of the strut, there's a little grub screw, so you wanna loosen that up. That'll help your screw, uh, the actual axle screw, go through the tire flush all the way. So just tighten that down, and then when you get to the rotation that you want, uh, the space that you want, just tighten down that grub screw and you're all done with the tire and the retract. So now lastly, it's just gonna be dropping it into the wheel well. Now that your wheel well is glued in, it's all nice and tight, when you push the retract in the only spot it can be, then I took a pin vise and I just pre-drilled out all the holes. And you can see they gave you a baggie which came with 12 big screws. Those are for all the retracts, because again, this OV-10 comes with static landing gear. Uh, normally, you would just be able to screw those in to where the wheel well is, but we obviously went with retracts, so those four screws though work perfectly, so definitely use them. They're not gonna move anywhere. All right guys, and there you have it for the uh, OV-10 Bronco main landing gear installation. It's actually pretty quick and easy. Just gonna need a little bit of CA. I use the thick stuff around um, for the wheel well, and then it's just a matter of screwing in some grub screws and getting the, uh, the tire onto the strut and the strut onto the retract. But everything looks great. Got it on the servo tester. 
no problem. So we knew the other one worked as well. So we are good to go as far as main landing gear. So uh, stay tuned for the next video. We're gonna do the nose gear and set up the, uh, the nose steering. So let's do that now.